As the scouts prepare to depart, Hans explains that Titans sleep at night, and although their eyes don't function well in the dark, they remain highly sensitive to noise. Thus, the scouts must stay quiet on the other side of the wall. The army trucks cross the wall gate and travel through the empty lands for many hours. Sometime later, the vehicles suddenly stop as movement is detected nearby. When the scouts investigate, they find it's just a herd of cows. Deciding to press on, the group prepares to leave, but Hiana insists she hears a baby crying and goes to investigate, with Aaron following her. Inside the ruins of a building, they suddenly feel something wet dripping on their heads. They look up and realize it's the drool of a baby titan, who is also the one crying. The baby tries to attack, but when Aaron and Hiana move out of reach, it falls to the ground and throws a loud tantrum. The noise wakes up other titans nearby, who immediately pursue the scouts, causing panic to erupt. As one of the captains is dragged away by a titan, Kubble and the higher-ranking soldiers flee in their vehicles, leaving the scouts to fend for themselves on foot. As the group runs, Armin trips and falls, but just as a titan is about to grab him, Sanagi intervenes, grabbing the titan's arm and tossing it away. After relentless running, the scouts finally reach Omotomachi, only to find their path blocked by a titan. Suddenly, another scout appears and swiftly kills the titan using the techniques Hans described. It's the legendary Captain Shikishima. The scouts are in awe of his skills but are quickly distracted by another approaching titan. This titan is also swiftly defeated by a new scout, who turns out to be Mikasa. Eren and Armin are stunned to see Mikasa, but before they can say anything, she leaves with Shikishima. Moments later, everyone reunites at the camp, and Shikishima shows Kubble all the explosives they've carefully guarded from the titans. Meanwhile, the wounded scouts receive treatment, and the healthy soldiers are tasked with loading the explosives into the trucks. Jean tracks down Aaron and punches him for waking up the titans last night. Aaron responds by taunting Jean, saying he soiled his pants when he saw his first titan. This provokes Jean to attack again, triggering a vicious fight. After several punches, Aaron manages to knee Jean in the face, knocking him out. Thinking he's victorious, Aaron is suddenly shoved from behind by Mikasa, who tells everyone to quiet down. Shikishima arrives afterward and compliments Aaron's fighting skills. Upon hearing Aaron's name, he leads him to another room, revealing that he was the one who taught Mikasa how to fight titans so effectively. Aaron expresses a desire to learn as well, and Shikishima asks him why. Aaron explains that he hates titans because they trapped humanity within the walls. Shikishima laughs, saying that safety is humanity's true enemy, as people have become cattle living inside fences, fearing wolves. Meanwhile, Armin pulls out the gadget he had promised to fix for his young friend and tells Sasha that, sadly, the kid died. He also laments not being able to fly, mentioning stories of machines in the old world that enabled such feats. Kubble overhears this and reminds Armin that technological advancements only led to environmental destruction, wasted resources, and war, which is why they're now illegal. Meanwhile, Aaron finds Mikasa playing an old piano and tries to tell her he's glad she's alive. Mikasa doesn't take the comment well and explains that the baby she tried to save was eaten by a titan, and so was she. She lifts her shirt to show Aaron the scar left by the titan's teeth, confessing that the world is cruel and that she only cares about killing titans. Their conversation is interrupted by Shikishima, who approaches Mikasa and shares an apple with her in an intimate way. Shocked, Aaron runs outside and screams in frustration until Hiana stops him, warning that his noise could attract more titans. She takes him to a private spot to chat. She starts getting too close to Aaron, but he freezes when he sees an eye peering through a hole in the wall. A titan smashes through the wall and immediately grabs Hiana to eat her. Hans notices a whole group of titans approaching and raises the alarm. Aaron and the other scouts grab their ODMGs and rush to the rooftops while Shikishima and Mikasa begin fighting the titans, killing several with ease. Sanagi stays on the ground, using his axe to wound the titans' legs and make them fall. Kubble orders his men to defend the explosives at all costs, unaware that a mysterious masked person is watching him. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to watch more of these videos.